I actually also ordered a new pair of Nike, so I really should do a sneaker purge. I just want him to stop climbing the window. Mm. Oh, this is a fun one, huh? This is more challenging than your other one. Hopefully once I like actually wear it and have like some heels on, it'll be fine. He is just so intrigued, but there's so much going on. There's a lot of dogs that have been here today. <laughs> Morning, you guys sorry if the sounds not great I have the windows open for Leo also I'm filming on my phone because I brought my camera but there's no memory card in it of course but got Leo back here we are heading to the vet I'm so sad to have to drop him off today like I hate the fact that he's not gonna be at home with me today but we'll get those ears taken care of poor guy Trevor said that this morning he was trying to scratch them again and he was like yelping in pain so obviously absolutely need it i'm glad that there is a solution to treat it without having to put him in more pain than he's already in so as much as we like try to avoid having to sedate our dogs obviously for something like this it's necessary because like i said he can't touch his own ears we can't touch his ears the vet can't touch his ears so it's just about like getting the medicine in so that he can start healing and feel a lot better huh buddy huh leo I feel so bad. He's like so confused this morning. He just got on a schedule with us and then he was like, why is no one feeding me? Because he can't eat right now. And then he's like, why are we going in the car right now? You know, why didn't I get my cell phone mat right now? It's because you're going to the vet, buddy. And I'm really sorry. I'm hoping that they'll tell me I can pick him up earlier in the day. Usually pickups around like one. I do have a nail appointment though, which is like the tough part. So I'd have to pick him up and drop him off at home, but he should be coming off of sedation. So hopefully that'll be fine and he'll be okay. Actually, it might be better that he's coming off of sedation because then he probably won't like freak out as bad from separation anxiety. But yeah, we'll see how he is when he comes back home later. I am back home puppyless. <laughs> Definitely sad. I mean, it was really hard to not like get inside my own head about like the last time I went to the vet and came back without a dog, but I'm, I'm picking him up today. He'll be fine. The vet staff this morning was so sweet. I mean, the vet staff usually is great there, but this vet staff in particular this morning, they were so nice. They were obsessed with him. They were like thanking us for rescuing him and stuff. One of the front desk ladies was like, if you hadn't rescued him and I came across him, I would have rescued him. So he was just being so good. He was being so polite. He was sitting. I didn't even have to tell him to and stuff. He was just on his absolute best behavior and everyone was just like, so in love with him so hopefully he'll be okay i just feel bad like he just got home and you know i just like i don't want him to think that he's getting abandoned like i'm coming back for him but he's in good hands and like i said they absolutely loved him this morning whatever stuff is on today they're like super fans of his so there right now he's getting sedated and then they're gonna pack his ears with the meds and clean out his ears and stuff. Also, while he's there, I just asked if we could just go ahead and get his dew claw clipped. All of his other nails are actually really short. I think one might be like damaged when I was looking at it because like it hasn't grown at all. Like it's a stub. All the rest of his nails, they've grown like a little bit, not a ton. But the dew claw, because it's not touching the ground, it's not getting filed down, it just grows so fast. And I'm just like not ready to clip it myself. I didn't even start clipping Sparts dew claws myself until like the last year he was alive. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm always scared to clip dog's nails. I usually just go get it done. So I just asked them while he was under if we could just clip that one claw, which they said is totally fine. But I'm doing my morning skincare right now. I literally got up and rolled out of bed because I had to drop him off like first thing in the morning. I was hoping that the earlier I drop him off, the earlier I can go pick him up because I do have to get my nails done today. I don't really have a choice. This was the only appointment that they had. And my pointer finger is completely broken in half. Not the actual nail, but the dip on top, so it's making the nail bend. And I don't know how well you guys can see on here. I've just been painting over it with clear nail polish to try to like hold it together. It does keep like cracking. Anyways, the clear nail polish is helping out just like maybe a little bit, but the second that there's any like decent pressure on the nail, it cracks again. So I literally have like seven layers of clear nail polish on it. But yeah, getting that done because I mentioned it in the last vlog, but we're going to my friend's wedding celebration party. They got married in a civil service, I think back in October. And I'm so sorry if I'm getting that wrong. I feel like it was October. 
October and November just ran together for me, by the way. Actually, September through November, all just ran together for me because there was like three different wedding things going on in that like three month time frame. So like, I can't remember what months everything was in. But anyways, yeah, they did their civil ceremony and this Sunday, is like the little celebration party so we're gonna be going my friend's gonna ride with us so it was supposed to be the party with the after party but because we were not able to find a dog sitter for this weekend we're gonna have to skip out on the after party but we can fully attend and be there for 100 percent of the main party but i have my dress for it coming in today i have a backup like if all else fails i will wear the Aritzia slip dress which is like what I bought that for was to be like a go-to dress for basically any type of occasion that I might need it for but yesterday Revolve was having 20% off of their entire site so I put in an order I'll do a little mini haul in this vlog when everything comes in later today maybe tomorrow morning I'll do it it just kind of depends on when everything gets delivered but yeah I got a different dress for it because the original dress I had wanted to wear you guys saw it in the last vlog it was the lighter green dress from Princess Polly it's just it's not gonna go it's too springy and I do need to dress a little wintry still because it's just like so cold right now so yeah I needed to switch gears on the dress and I really really like the one I ended up getting from Revolve it's really pretty and it was 20% off so that's fantastic I actually also ordered a new pair of Nike so I really should do a sneaker purge there's so many sneakers that I have that I'm just like not wearing right now but anyways okay I'm gonna get to my morning here I still have to like edit and publish a video it's going up late because we had to deal with all of like Leo's ear stuff yesterday so yeah I'm gonna work on all of that and hopefully they'll call sooner rather than later for me to go get Leo So he was just like so happy to see me, but I'm gonna take him to the park right now Because he's being such a good boy. They said he did so great. He came out of sedation fully like whenever Spartan gets sedated He was loopy For at least a full day afterwards, but he seems like he's totally All there so I'm gonna go ahead and take him to the park because he has been such a good boy Even if it means I have to go to my nail appointment ugly. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. I might just like go home and change and stuff but luckily you know they got done with him in time and let me pick him up early enough that I've got a little extra time on my hands so I should be fine I was hoping to get food before my nail appointment I may not be able to at the end of the day all that matters is that his ears got treated and he's good to go so they put the medication in it's like a long-lasting medication so he can't get his ears wet for like the next four weeks so we are gonna need to monitor the weather and if it's gonna rain I need to find out if there's like little doggy earmuffs or something I can get him so that his ears won't get wet if we have to walk him in the rain which I kind of hope that those exist because that would be so fucking cute so we are back home went to the park for a bit and Leo is just so exhausted he wanted to explore a lot more so we actually ended up exploring into the neighborhoods behind the park and that's where our friends who we like would go to watch football with on Sundays that's where they live and I passed by their house and as I'm passing by 
I see one of their cars driving up. I'm like, no way that that's them. So he actually ended up getting to meet our friend Jerry. He was very, very good. He got treats, he got pets. And I told Trevor and he was so excited because Trevor's been wanting to introduce him to them. So that was a nice little cherry on top to the day, but I am getting ready. I need to go get my nails done. I'm gonna try to leave him for a little while just so that he can kind of get used to it. I feel bad today is gonna be the day that I'm doing the longest time away since he was at the vet all morning, but you know, we gotta be gone on Sunday, so I kind of have to do it. I don't want to, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. I'm just doing my hair. I don't have time to do makeup, but I figured at the very least I can at least have my hair look somewhat done and intentional. I'm so hungry too. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to stop. I had wanted to get a sushi roll. It depends on what time I can actually physically get out of here. Just a ponytail today? Or should I do a bun? Actually, I'm gonna leave it in the ponytail, but I'm gonna clip it up. Okay, I'm gonna go change and then we're gonna get out of here. I am all ready to go and get out of here. I found a duck channel for dogs. So I put that on for Leo. See if that makes a difference with him at all. What time is it? Okay, about two minutes. I'm gonna go grab his Kong. And then I wanted to try to order Nespresso, but their website isn't working to like order ahead. I'm gonna try one more time. If it doesn't work, then I can get Nespresso a different time. It's totally fine. Oh snap, I guess who timed themselves correctly this time with time to spare to pick up food and eat. I'm, guys, I'm proud of myself. What a great day. Per usual, I got my custom roll. Let's get back here. I have 10 minutes to eat, so yeah, doing real great today. I was hoping that Leo would still be reacting to the sedation a little bit more so that he wouldn't care so much that I left, but he cared. He is climbing the window. Last time I looked. Again, I can't get him to stop climbing the window. I tried to put the doggy gate in front of it and he just knocked over the doggy gate and he sat on the doggy gate to climb onto the window. And part of the fence in between us and the property next to us broke from the wind. Like it literally fell. So there's workers over there right now that are fixing it and they're probably seeing Leo in the window climbing everything. Oh my gosh. I don't like, I don't know what to do. I mean, besides just, you know, continuing to practice leaving and stuff, obviously, but still, I just want him to stop climbing the window. Mm. Also to you guys, I caught him howling. I was like, damn it. I was hoping he wouldn't be a howler or a barker, but apparently when we're gone, he is. When we're there, he's not. But the Amazon guy, I think, dropped off a package. Actually, it's a package for Leo. And I saw him howling on the camera, and I was like, damn it. I'm so excited to get my nails fixed, though. They are pretty fucking terrible. The pointer finger, this guy, focus. This is driving me nuts. It keeps bending. It doesn't feel pleasant. It doesn't, like, hurt, hurt, but it doesn't feel pleasant. Also... Shout out to whoever made my roll this time. Last couple times I got a custom roll from here, they would like fall apart as I was eating them, but this one's actually rolled really tightly. Okay, we don't need a six minute clip of me rambling, so I'm gonna go. I'll show you guys my nails afterwards. Just got done and I am looking for a cord to charge my phone. I typically don't charge my phone in here, but it's completely dead. And I don't like the fact that I can't check on Leo. I typically don't even like attempt to charge my phone in here because every single time I've tried, it doesn't actually charge my phone. Like it just basically neutralizes it. So it's not losing battery, but it's not gaining battery. I know I have a cord in here somewhere. I really need to clean up my car. Actually, I'm gonna clean it out tomorrow since my friend is riding with us. I know that there's a cord in here. This is driving me crazy. Okay, I'll look for it in a second. But anyways, here's the nails. I was originally gonna do a mint green, but they didn't have the color that I wanted in dip. So I got this one. I've always wanted to do lavender nails and I love them. I think that they came out so good. Went with a very pointy almond. I know that this dip is LPI. I just can't remember the color. I did take a picture of it on my phone, but my phone is dead. So I can put the name on the screen. This is driving me crazy. I want to be able to check on Leo. Although I just looked, uh, my phone died like two minutes ago and I had just looked at him and he was sleeping on the couch. So he's probably fine, but uh, I think it's like 
4.45. I would turn on my car and tell you guys what time it is, but I never programmed with the clock on my car, so it's wrong. I just rely on my cell phone. But yeah, I'm supposed to stay out till like at least like 6, 6.30 because we're trying to do a full four hours, but I feel like if you already fell asleep, it's fine. It's not going to make a difference whether or not I come home two and a half hours from now or in the next hour, you know? Like, if he's fine at that amount of time, then he's fine for a longer amount of time. But, I mean, I'm gonna try to stay out, but without a cell phone, it's a little bit hard. And also, this battery's dying. Why wouldn't it? But I'm thinking just like at least to give myself a couple more activities. I kind of, I know that this is crazy, because number one, I actually wanna switch tops. I don't know why I thought that this would be sufficient when it's so cold. It's not necessarily that the temperature is cold right now. I mean, it is for us, but it's because of all the rain. There's just like an extra chill in the air. And luckily I have this sweatshirt in my car still. This is from Amazon. It's just like a Fruit of the Loom hoodie. It's a little bit on the thinner side, which is great for layering. So I'm just gonna put this on underneath my jacket. But yeah, there's just like this chill going on in the air but you know logical thing to do <laughs> uh i'm gonna go get ice cream i really want to get salt and straw i haven't had it in so long not since that very first time that i got it back in october yeah it was october because they had halloween flavors yeah i really really liked it and i never went back so i was thinking i, I almost got on hands but i was like you know what as cold as it is right now i actually kind of am feeling ice cream so I'm gonna go get ice cream. Maybe I'll stop and get a cord on the way because I really can't find mine. It should have been in this area. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that I took it out at some point. So maybe I'll stop by CVS too and get like a charging cord so that I can stay out a little bit longer to keep testing Leo. Change of plans. Trevor's actually already on his way home and it's already like 545. We're just calling it close enough. He's able to do this amount of time, then he'll be fine on Sunday when we go to our friend's wedding reception so we're just gonna call it good there i am gonna return the cord that i was using to try to charge my phone to try to charge my phone it's just i don't know what it is like whenever i try to charge my phone in a car i just don't get really good charging and it's been like that with every phone that i've had so it's not the phones i think it's just like the connection in my car so yeah i'll probably just have to return the cord because there's really no point in it oh girl scouts nope don't do it. I can't believe I haven't gotten Girl Scout cookies yet. I, the two times that I've been willing to get Girl Scout cookies and I looked for them outside of the grocery store, there were no Girl Scouts. I was like, what are the odds? Back home, he was in such a deep sleep when I came in. He didn't even come to the door. He just like kind of sat up and he was like, who is that? So he's fine. He'll be fine. This is what I put on for him. It was TV for dogs. I specifically picked the duck one because he's a fan of the ducks at the park. So... I thought that that would be soothing for him and I guess it was because that's the first time I've seen him actually fall asleep while we've been gone. So I'm just going to attribute that to the ducky TV as opposed to the fact that he probably still has a little sedation in him. But he did get some packages in so for you dog moms, dog parents out there, I will do an unboxing, show you guys what we got for him. Oh my goodness, are we stretching? Oh my, did your leg give out on you? Oh, buddy. Yeah, I think you've got a little sedation in you still. Your dad's gonna be home soon. Let's go unbox your packages. You've got new stuff, full mats and stuff. Okay, hi, hi. Shall we show them what you got? Hmm, you wanna show them what you got? Oh, you're such a good boy. Okay, let's open up the first one. Your dad, I think, is gonna like this. I got him a football snuffle mat. So this is a nice big one. Ooh, maybe we can put a snuffle mat together for your dinner. Do you want a snuffle for your dinner tonight? He is a huge fan of his one snuffle mat. So I got him two. This is the first one. And I think this one's kind of big, so it should keep him preoccupied. Yeah, nice and big. There it is compared to my torso. So it's got a lot of little grass areas, and then it's got like little pockets. This is yours. Yeah, this is yours. We're going to put treats all up in here. It's got like little pockets and stuff, and then you can stick treats in the goal areas and then also in the corners. So good little activity, huh? Do you think we'll have fun with this? Think we'll have so much fun yeah i don't know if this is his other snuffle mat though or this could be clothing for me let's find out oh i think it's the other snuffle mat yay 
so many activities. Okay. Are you gonna sit on me? Yep. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, he's like a bully. Okay. Hi. Oh my god, it's so dark. I'm so sorry about this angle. Hi. Oh, it's right in my ear. That tickled. Buddy, you got another snuffle mat? Wow, you're gonna have like the best snuffle mat collection ever. This is the other one that I got. This was supposed to have come in last week. Ooh, this one's super durable. Perfect. And it's got like suction cups. Oh my god, it's so dark. I'm so sorry, you guys. Anyways, me. Oh, Trevor's here. He's coming in. Uh uh, stay, stay, stay. Hi, handsome guy. <laughs> so here's snuffle mat number two. This one's kind of cool because it's like in a little boat, so it's contained. And there's like a ton of pockets in here, so we'll play with that. Oh, what a beautiful guy. Who yeah. doesn't care that I'm here. <laughs> he um he was in such a deep sleep when I got in. He was sleeping on the couch. Nice. But he just kind of sat up and looked at me, and it took him like a few seconds. I can eat stuff here, or if you want to order stuff, you, you got to make that decision. Yep. Oh, okay. So, hey Leo. I You're got so this beautiful. because he is still adjusting to Hi. peeing with three legs, and he keeps peeing on his front leg. <laughs> so, these are pet safe wet wipes so that we can wipe off his front paw after he goes potty because he just be peeing all over his leg most days. So, you and me both, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to show Dad the first snuffle mat that we unboxed? Because Dad's going to like this one. What? That's awesome. Football! That is a true football. Uh, yeah. Not football. Football. Sports. Yes. It's a <laughs> soccer one. There you go. I like it. Yeah. Are you going to play sports? <laughs> He's like, where's the TR? Also, I got you TRs. I will out. tell you, it these was, are good, but the big eggs are the... I understand. I was they, trying to look for they those. They are very different. They, I was trying to look for those. They didn't you're, have those. You're, you're fine. Thank it you. It was buy them nice and get gesture. one 50% off, so I figured... I'm starving, so thank that. you. So we're doing the, apparently soccer, my bad, or football, depending on where you're at, but we're doing that snuffle mat. I have so many treats just kind of all over in here let's scoot those back there's one in every corner and these like little pockets and stuff he already started trying to pick at it while i was putting it together and i was like no dude you gotta wait oh i want to put one in here let me move there we go perfect all right i'm pretty positive he's gonna like it oh this is a fun one huh it's more challenging than your other one so it's the next morning leo is working on his other new snuffle mat are we liking it huh did you get it all? I highly doubt you got it all. I hid some stuff pretty well. There you go. He woke me up this morning with his squeaker toy, which was fine because I went to bed early last night. I was having an allergic reaction. I had hives all over this eye. Luckily, it's like 100% better now, but like literally hives all over. And then I was like stuffy. I was having a hard time breathing, took some allergy medication and just went to bed early. Yeah. He woke me up early this morning with his squeaker toy, which, like I said, was fine because I went to bed so early. It was whatever. Then he got me out of bed because dude ran out the front door when Trevor was trying to leave. So we had to, like, run after him. Good news, bad news. He does know the command stop, and he will stop. The problem is when I walk to him, he thought we'd continue walking because that's what we do on our walks. We stop, and then I tell him good, and we continue walking. So he continued trying to walk slash run off. <laughs> so eventually Trevor came out with treats, so the next time I told him to stop, we got his attention with the treats, and then I ran back, and he chased me back to go get his treats. But, oh my god, that was like quite a wake up this morning. We gotta keep working on those door manners. You can't just keep busting through the door. That's not cool, man. But anyways, we're gonna actually visit Trevor at work today. I have like a few things I have to do right now, just like... For content i am very very behind on filming content and stuff and then also i need to clean up my car i'll probably take it to go get a car wash so i have to do all of that before we go to see trevor so i guess it's a good thing that he woke me up early but anyways i'm gonna get started with my morning probably see you guys a little bit later either when i get my car washed or when we go to see trevor Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest You a mood body giving interviews I'm just saying I'm a mule But you ain't even flexing 
Then you cool, tatted it up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know it for But you ain't even flexing, and you ain't gotta try too hard so I did all my car stuff, cleaned it out, got it washed, came back here and got ready because we are going to head out to see Trevor at work. On the weekends, he works at a huge park. I think we've taken you guys there a couple times and it's very, very dog friendly. So we wanted to bring Leo over there so he can get some socialization in and stuff and also just have some fun, meet some new people. And also Trevor like really wanted to see him. But before I get dressed and head out, I did get my Revolve order in. So I wanted to share what I got with you guys. I did already unbox all of it on TikTok, but can still show you guys so the first item that i got the biggest item that i got are some air force ones i have been wanting just like some sleeker less chunky flat white sneakers with black trim and these just like totally hit the mark i love the black nike logo and then the black on the back and then here's what they look like from the front so cute these are perfect i will probably be wearing these like all the time a little bit more random but this is one of my holy grails i show this all the time but this is the first day dissolve cleansing balm this stuff gets all of your makeup off it smells so good too it smells like eucalyptus because it does have eucalyptus oil in it so it kind of like smells like a spa when you're doing your skincare routine and i use this with some warm water and a microfiber towel and it literally gets off every single speck of makeup nothing gets my makeup off better than this combo then i got a couple clothing pieces so this is my dress that i'm hoping to wear tomorrow it definitely needs to be steamed tonight because it's so wrinkled but i got this green tube dress oh my god it's a little long hopefully once i like actually wear it and have like some heels on it'll be fine but this is from the brand sidis snidis snidis i don't know s-n-d-y-s sundays i don't know <laughs> but that's the brand i just love the color on this i think it's so pretty i like i'm a sucker for like an olive green but yeah you guys will see me try this on tomorrow so i'm not gonna try it on right now i'm not trying anything on right now try-ons will be on tiktok if you guys want to see them actually you know i'll try to insert the clips but the other thing that i got was the free people bra me i got like the v-neck version of it but it's this ribbed material it's really really nice like it's supposed to be super supportive so supposedly you don't have to wear a bra with it and then lastly i'm like i'm still ready for spring if you guys can't tell by this haul i got this top in from tula rose it's like this long sleeve burnt orange crop top and it crosses in the front with this like kind of muslin-y ribbed material but so cute would be perfect with like a pair of jeans or even oh my god this with some parachute pants i don't think i have the right color parachute pants but i could get new parachute pants or even like with a pair of khaki cargos this would look really cute with that too but yeah that is everything that i got from revolve i'm gonna go ahead and get changed and get going because we gotta head out of here so we can go visit trevor so here is the outfit i just recreated an outfit from pinterest if you guys want to see like all the details on it there should be a tiktok up but it's time to head out of here you want to go visit dad you don't know that word yet. You don't know who dad is yet. We'll get there. Leo is going crazy. I'm like, please be on your best behavior, dude. Because this is <laughs> Trevor's work. He have been going all nuts. But we just arrived here. I'm just trying to like pack everything into one bag. I brought like his bag and my purse. And I'm like, let me not make that harder on myself. <laughs> everything in one bag. Hey, hey, do you see what I mean? He's going nuts. You need to chill. Are you at the new park? Are you at the big park? visiting Trevor. How's it been today? Busy? Or not too bad? Um, no, it's just been very cold. Yeah, it feels cold. Leo! 55 degrees. Uh-huh. Which isn't too bad when you're just sitting in a chair. Yeah. I know, I layered on a sweatshirt and a leather jacket because you told me. He is just so intrigued by it. There's so much going on. There's a lot of dogs that have been here today. You just missed a pack of huskies. Okay, well that's good. I mean, like, He's fine. He's fine, like with one dog for like a, a distance, but I think he would have gone over a bunch. So we left Trevor. I picked up the gifts for my friend tomorrow for her reception. I got her a nice decanter and then a monogram cheese plate. And now we're at Jack in the Box to get some food. Can I get three grilled cheeses and then an order of the five-piece nuggets and medium curly fries, and that'll be it? Uh -uh, no, no, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just shut my center console. Leo was so good at the park. He was definitely very overwhelmed. Like he just like wanted to keep looking around, but whenever we told him leave it, come, stop, stay, any of that stuff, he was paying attention enough that he was listening. So that was very good that even when he was like distracted and so like into everything that was happening around him, he still was actively listening to us. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's definitely going a little crazy right now he knows that we love trevor and that we've been like driving around and i'm sure he's just like wondering where trevor is but it was like so funny when i took him to the park because like he was so overwhelmed not overwhelmed to the point where like he was having a bad time he was just like overwhelmed to the point where he's like oh my god what is all this stuff and he just wanted to watch everything he didn't even like register that trevor was there <laughs> like Trevor was so excited. He was like, hey Leo. And Leo was just like, oh my God, look at those kids playing soccer. <laughs> but he had a good time. We're hoping that he's gonna be super tired because I don't think I told you guys, we got invited to go watch the UFC fights tonight. So as soon as I get home, I'm just gonna like eat really quick. I think Trevor just wants to rest for a second. And then we're gonna head straight out to our friend's house to go watch. So it's good that he's like nice and tired and he's gonna be exhausted. Hopefully he only freaks out for a few minutes. I mean, I would hope that he doesn't freak out at all, but I know that's not realistic. So I'll probably just freak out for a few minutes, but then hopefully we'll just like go straight to sleep. So it's been a crazy morning. I've been getting ready. We had to take Leo to the park and also take him on a long walk because we're going to be gone for a while. But just wanted to give you guys a really quick outfit check of what I'm wearing to our friend's like wedding celebration. Actually, let me go this way. You guys can see more of the full length. Uh-oh, do not fall. So this is the dress from Revolve. It's perfect, I love it, it's so pretty. I love the silk, and I don't think you guys can see all the way down, but it does hit at the perfect maxi length for me. If you are taller, it's definitely gonna be a midi. For shoes, since it's still cold, I did boots. These are the Shoe Dazzle Frenchy Slouchy Boots in taupe. And then my fur jacket, that's old from Pepper Mayo. I can definitely link similar ones for you guys. And then finally, I'm gonna be carrying my Fendi bag for this outfit today, but. That is the fit. My friend is downstairs and we're gonna head out of here. which if you don't live in this area, it's about an hour north of LA. We are about an hour south of LA. Although the traffic wasn't too bad today, it just took us an hour and a half, so I guess 45 minutes. I'm just making Leo's dinner. Sit. Good. Stay. Wow, he's so good. He's actually staying. Oh, you guys can't see him, but he's actually staying. You are doing so good. Okay, come on. But well, we had a fun time tonight. There are a few friends from high school that we got to see. So besides celebrating Anna and David's marriage, we also got to catch up with some people. So it was definitely a really nice time. And then we took advantage afterwards. You guys saw, we went to Shake Shack. I love Shake Shack. I wish that there was one closer. There actually is one opening up in Irvine, which is like, 20-ish minutes for me so i'm excited that there's gonna be a shake shack much closer but as of right now the closest one to me is like long beach which is like 40 minutes away so since there was one in westlake which is where we were at we decided to go it was actually in the center that the restaurant was at so that was actually pretty perfect but yeah shake shack was so fucking good i mean the restaurant was really good it was paul martin's and they had these like salt and pepper shrimp that were just so fucking fire and then also the artichoke dip amazing but Anyways, I'm tired. It's really, really late. It was a long drive back. I'm just like giving Leo his dinner. I already walked him and we're probably just gonna go down for the night. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my holy hope. I look for the things I don't know.